In this video, we're gonna be going over the entire main quest for Master Koga and the depths. We actually have to start over in the Great Abandoned Central Mine. That is the only gameplay I do not have uh, for you guys in this video, unfortunately, but that's where you're gonna to go to start things off. It's right under the Great Plateau. So if you go to the Great Plateau and you drop down the chasm uh, there, any of the four chasms, uh, and you make your way kind of towards the uh, underground, like kind of the middle area, then you'll be good to go. Uh, I should warn you that there's gonna be spoilers ahead, obviously, for this whole entire quest i'm going to be playing it out in its entirety besides that very first section which i'm going to explain to you very briefly and i'm also for the very last section uh, i'm going to be bringing out all of the temple summons so do be warned for that if you don't uh, if you haven't finished the temples yet then you might not want to see that gameplay um so anyways what we're going to do is we're going to go through this again i missed the first section but you're just going to go to the great abandoned central mine which is under the great plateau there's going to be a boss fight with master koga he's going to be driving kind of a vehicle around you're just going to try to hop on the back of it and and then just kind of whack him and then uh, he's gonna fall off the vehicle you're gonna whack him a few times and he's eventually gonna get a shield uh, in front of his vehicle so you gotta you know really make sure you get to the back uh, I would just run personally uh, and then we're pretty much good to go uh, after that we can actually move on to the second uh, area these gonna be because we got to fight him like four times if I remember correctly so I'll show you guys exactly where that is on the map and we can get this uh, started and it's uh, in its entirety all right, so you can see that the second location is going to be uh, over here. Let me first show you the first location is in the Great Abandoned uh, Central Mine, like I uh, said a second ago. Uh, so you're going to be going right here to kick it off. It's called Master Koga of the Yiga Clan, if I'm still pronouncing that wrong, right? I don't know. The second location is going to be down here, the bottom left corner in the Gerudo area. Uh, again, it's uh, all these like kind of grand central mines, not grand central mines, but these abandoned uh, mines that are, are quite big and you're gonna see that in each one master Koga is just hanging out there He's trying to tinker with the uh, the Zonai uh, Device I guess I, I don't know what these are called actually like the Zonai seals I guess uh, and you can't figure it out. So he's gonna get a little bit frustrated It's gonna be a whole thing and then we're gonna go into uh, a boss fight now I'm not gonna commentate the entirety of this. I think uh, I'm just gonna kind of uh, come in and out I'll let you guys see how I go about you know doing these boss fights I'll give you a couple tips and tricks maybe um, and then we'll just kind of go through it now Keep in mind I'm going to absolutely destroy him because I have like the most powerful gear in the game uh, I decided to do this like super super late game where I, I had done all the main stuff. I had grinded a ton um, And so I'm just gonna breeze through that it might not be the same for you so for this fight he's going to basically be on one of these flying devices and you're going to find a bunch of locations nearby you see the, those kind of like um there's kind of like these i don't know what you call them like stone shelf looking things in the in the distance you can see three at start there um what you could do is you could try to like shoot bomb arrows at him but you're probably not going to be able to hit him properly as i'm doing here so you're it's probably not worth it uh, also worth noting, if you try to use Ascend, I mean, maybe you're, you're, you'd get more lucky than me. I don't think that you can actually do it from that positioning. I don't think it'll work, but you might. You might be able to pull it off. I, I didn't bother with it. So right here, you can see, see a couple things. So and there's a bunch of stuff that you can utilize. I'm going to strap a rocket to my shield to get me up into the air. And then I'm going to pull my bow to freeze down time. Uh, or to freeze time. And then I'm going to smack him. And that's going to, you know, knock him off. And now, again, I'm annihilating his health because I'm, you know, super OP. Uh, but again, you just got to utilize all the Zonai devices that are around. Of course, you could bring your own portable Zonai devices, which you can get at Zonai dispensers. Uh, but there's also this uh, springboard nearby. So if you just jump onto it, whack it, it's going to spring you up in the air. And that will help you uh, get up, um, you know, above him as well. And then you just rinse and repeat. Again, as you do more damage, he's going to kind of shield himself, which is going to be a little bit more tricky. The first time, you could probably just jump on one of those kind of stone tablet shelving things jump off freeze time and you might be able to hit him like that uh especially with bomb arrows but after he puts a shield up you have to get above him so just keep that in mind probably save the spring for that part i would say uh but anyway so that's gonna be that he's gonna go through his whole dialogue again crystallized charges he's talking about every time we beat him he's actually gonna drop a chest and the chest is gonna have a hundred crystallized charges uh and basically a hundred crystallized charges means that if we go to certain uh constructs that can actually um you know uh, i guess convert the crystallized charges into energy wells they're gonna increase they're gonna give us an energy well for every 100 which this is 100 so it's basically a sliver of battery essentially um so you can go ahead and do that and uh this uh this uh steward construct is gonna give you tips on where to find uh find him again and he, they're also gonna say hey look over there 
uh, there's going to be another steward construct you should go talk to, and that one's going to give you uh, Schema Stone. So make sure you talk to them as well. Um, so open up this middle charge chest again, 100 crystallized charges. If you don't know about the whole Zonite economy and how to increase your energy cell, I made a video on that. Um, but again, briefly, just bring it to a very uh, special places, uh, special, I guess, forge constructs, and they'll convert it to extra battery. So then you have more battery when you use Zonite devices. So again, when you talk to these... Uh, these uh, steward constructs over here in the back, they're always gonna give you a scheme of stone and it's gonna be for a device that is going to be useful uh, for getting another chest that's gonna have some more crystallized charges in it. So what's gonna happen here is they're gonna provide you with the necessary resources close by and you're just gonna open up auto build. It should be the very first option since it's the newest option. And then you're gonna create whatever um, vehicle it is. Now I'm not gonna, or whatever device it is. I'm not gonna show you it for every single one. Um, I will briefly touch on it, but I'm just gonna show you just for one example how this works. So what we do is we go into the, the device and it's gonna bring us just across nearby somewhere. So for, you know, for this example, there's gloom. So we can't really run through it. So that's why the hovercraft and it'll bring us to another chest and that chest will have uh, 20 crystallized charges. So that'll give us another little chunk as well. All right, so once we do that, we can move on to the third location where Master Koga is gonna be, which is gonna be up here in the Lanayru mine. Now there's a couple ways to get here, obviously from the depths, or you can go down uh, under this waterfall, the Great Zora Bridge, that, that waterfall. If you go behind it, there's a chasm. You go down that chasm, you'll end up right where I'm uh, teleporting right here. All right, so once we teleport into the light route here, uh, well, going from the light route, we're going to cross this water, and you can already, already tell it's going to be a water boss fight. So we're going to go up to him. He's going to be across over here again, you know, uh, tinkering with this uh, Zonai seal. He's going to get frustrated. Uh, again, I'm going to play out the cutscenes. If you want to skip ahead to the boss fight, and if that's specifically how you want to see uh, how to do this, then feel free. I'm just showing it all in case anyone wants to, you know, see what the dialogue is. Maybe you accidentally skipped yours. You just want to relive it or whatever else, right? Just kind of for uh, archiving's sake, right? So that's why I'm not cutting out all that um, and just showing you guys the literal entirety of this uh, quest minus, you know, the traveling and all that stuff. So um, hopefully that's something that you uh, you enjoy or you don't mind at least at the very least and uh, what not like I said you can skip ahead to the fight So he's gonna go through his whole dialogue uh, You can go ahead and read it if you uh, would like to either in your own playthrough or read it Like I said uh, on screen that I just had here He's gonna have two Yiga clan members with him on a boat now What we're gonna do is we're gonna go down the dock here and there's gonna be all these different kind of uh, devices We're just gonna hop on one uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way over to his jump on his and start attacking them um there's a, a variety of different ways you could do this obviously you could try to shoot him from where you, you are but you'd have to let go of your control panel so i'm just going to go i'm going to jump off of mine onto onto theirs attack him a bunch you can attack the yiga clan members if you would like to uh as well and now we can take his now his has some spikes on the front but uh you know that so you don't want to get hit by those obviously um when you're uh when you're actually trying to get to him and you're gonna see that i'm gonna mess up a little bit here in a second uh, and I'm going to get hit by one of the spikes, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump over to him. Uh, and right here is where I actually jumped into the water. Uh, so I had to swim around because it, it hurt me a little bit. Not not drastically. I mean, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but a little bit. Uh, again, I, I just slaughtered him because I got really good weapons. And I also have the barbarian armor, which gives me attack up. So keep that in mind. Um, anyways, all that to say, it might take you a little bit more time depending on you know, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, how set up you are and how far you are into the game. His whole thing is he wants to basically help the Demon King. He's, he's crazy. Like, the Demon King's going to care about him. Demon King would crush him in his palm. Um, anyways, well, we're not talking about the De Demon King here. I'm not spoiling that for you. You could, you could go check that out. It's a whole other thing. We're not, we're not talking about that in this one. So he's going to go... Uh, and we're, we're gonna have one more fight. So that was our third fight technically again the first fight I didn't show you the entirety because I didn't I didn't get the chance to record it all because I didn't know this was gonna be a whole long thing Initially, so I had like kind of snippets clips that I could show you um, So what we're gonna do we're gonna go up to the middle here and uh, again He's gonna drop another treasure chest and there's gonna be the steward construct as per usual It's just gonna talk to you and it's gonna give you some hints on where to go uh, Open the chest do not forget these chests because again large large chunks huge huge 
crystallized charges, which is really, really nice. Again, that's a whole battery chunk, if you will. So we're going to go to the steward construct in the back. Again, I already had the schema stone from this one, but I'll explain how this one works. So you're going to basically build a like a boat, a little hover boat thing, and you're going to basically go over there. So right where I'm pointing, there's going to be a treasure chest there. You're going to go over there. You're going to pick up the treasure chest. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, and again, you're going to get 20 charges. Now, uh, crystallized charges now we're going to go over to the left side this one's going to be a little bit more tricky because it's in an area where you have to access it from the top which is in rito uh, village if you just kind of glide off the edge of the center uh, main island of rito village right here there's going to be a hole in the wall it's like a very small hole if you go into that hole you can see a chasm you're going to go down that chasm and we're going to end up right where the light route's going to be which is where we're going to spawn from this next clip again just go to the side of rito village the main island and you should find a hole it's a small hole tricky to find just kind of float around until you find it you should be good to go uh have a whole light roots video on the channel showing all the secret chasms and how to get to them and everything else and a bunch of other stuff as well in that video that might be helpful for the depths but uh for this one we're focusing mostly on master koga and this whole side quest so or i guess sorry it's a main quest that feels kind of like a side quest but apparently it's a main quest i don't know it's under main quest but it doesn't really it doesn't really do any i don't think it does anything really for the for the main quest really except give you the ability to increase your energy cell uh by giving you a ton of crystallized charges and it's just a cool story uh, <clears throat> excuse me anyways we're gonna go through this we're gonna do our final last fight now this is the one where i'm gonna be pulling out all of my summons from the temple so if you don't want any spoilers do be wary of that that is going to be something i'm going to be showing you guys here right now because there's going to be this fight now if you did the fifth temple you're going to understand how this fight's going to work which is why you're going to understand why i'm going to be pulling out my summons now i had to pull out my fifth summon anyway so i'm like you know what let me just pull out the other ones maybe they'll help me in this fight maybe not they didn't do a whole lot for what it's worth um i guess maybe there's a few different ways you could go about this fight but using this summon would probably be the best option i don't know if, if you can do it without this summon i assume you can uh it'd just be a little bit more tricky um you probably just have to shoot him and uh i mean you can use some of your other summons maybe but uh again the way i'm gonna do it is i'm just gonna hop onto my fifth summon here uh which is going to be the construct and then just like the fifth temple boss fight we're just going to kind of knock him into the barb wire uh to electrocute him that's going to knock him off we're going to jump off we're going to go do damage well, i mean you don't have to jump off but you'll probably do more damage depending on the weaponry you have if you do jump off um so just keep that in mind now again we're just going to kind of rinse and repeat throughout this whole boss fight we're just gonna keep smacking him into the into the barbed wire uh at some point he's gonna obviously get a little bit more uh shielded just like the other fights uh and again you can see that he has a little bit more health this time around um maybe i was supposed to do more damage specifically by staying in my uh construct summon or whatever but i didn't do it that way so i'm gonna knock him again into the barbed wire uh avoiding all of his attacks we're just gonna keep damaging him and uh i think this last wave is where he gets uh a little bit more uh by the way be, be careful because if you do get electrocuted by anything uh then you're gonna drop your weapons and you want to pick it up i think it might actually been my own summon that electrocuted me there i'm not sure uh so remember you can hold zl to shield uh so do that uh whenever you need to and then just knock him into barbed wire keep doing rinsing and re rinsing and repeating and uh you're gonna be good to go you're gonna be done He's going to be upset. There's going to be a whole kind of cutscene that's going to play out. He's going to be mad as per usual. I mean, it's Master Koga. He's he's got he's got like a temper tantrum of a of a 2-year-old. Uh, <laughs> but uh anyways, he's going to freak out and uh there's going to be this whole dialogue and whatnot. Um I do I I guess I do apologize if if you know you guys don't enjoy the whole commentary over the entirety of this thing i know i said i wasn't going to do it but then i was like you know what it's not as long as i thought it was going to be so it's like whatever i'll just i'll just continue talking um just for the sake of whatever again you can see this cutscene for yourself anyways uh the whole point of this is to kind of walk you through the entirety of the quest and you know show you the dialogue on screen in case you uh missed anything throughout your playthrough and you want to be like oh what what did he say again and not in this part uh, I didn't catch that. I know I skip through the dialogue kind of quick sometimes, but it's still there. If you pause it at the right moment, you can read it, and that's all that counts. Anyways, so that's it. We're gonna—he's gonna get Super Smash Bros. brothered into the into the stratosphere, into the sky, up the chasm, um, and there's gonna be two chests this time. Now, unfortunately, not 200. Uh, that's the end of the quest, by the way. Master Koga of the Yiga Clan. Not gonna be 200. Um, crystallized charges i was hoping that 
One of them is going to be useful and it's going to be pretty good, depending if you want to use it as a fusible or if you want to just sell it. If you sell it, it's going to be 500 rupees. Uh, and you'll see what it is in just a second here. But I have a lot of said item because of ways and methods uh, in the game before they got patched. So I was like, you know, it's whatever. Uh, so I got a huge crystallized charge. It's another hundred. It's going to be another battery chunk, another battery uh, bar. And then we got the diamond. In the second chest. So we got a diamond. That's nice. Again, it's 500 rubies if you sell it. Again, if you go to the construct in the back, uh, not this one here. Uh, there's this one over here. So if you talk to this one, it's going to give you a schema stone. Um, and I'll show you guys really quick how this one's going to work if you want to do that. Because this one is a little bit tricky to understand. You can see that we got to actually go all the way up there. And there's a device right in front of us. Now, I'll show you how to do it, even though I already got it and where to find the chest. Because like I said, this one can be a little bit more tricky if you don't understand what's going on here. So we're going to build this device here. That's the schema stone we're going to be getting from this construct. We're going to hop on here. We're going to hit the rocket. It's going to make us fly up to the top. I'm just going to use a weapon that I don't actually care to damage. Uh, the other ones are the, the old school Zelda weapons. I just want to keep those preserved. I know I can rebuy them, but still. And the idea is just to hop from one of these to the other. But I mean, just glide over. Like honestly, just glide over. And there's going to be a chest right here. Pick up the chest, and again, you're going to get your 20 crystallized charges. Also, check the chimney, because the chimneys also have a couple charges up there. Not much, but it's some. So, there you guys have it. That is your entire walkthrough for the uh, Master Koga of the Yiga Clan quest in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe you found this video useful. Maybe you found it pointless. Uh, again, maybe it's just enjoyable. Maybe you don't even need it for a walkthrough. You just wanted to kind of, you know, watch it and just see see it play out for someone else i don't know either way i hope you enjoyed this uh, video to, you know in some way or another if you did be sure to leave a like really help the channel subscribe for more and let me know what you thought of this quest yourself again you get some schema stones out of it you get a bunch of crystallized charges get a diamond you get a few other tidbits like that and uh all in all not not too bad not too shabby so thanks for watching stay safe stay well and until the next one game on i'll see you guys soon